Hello, my dear viewers. Welcome to my channel, Agriculture with Sami once again. And in this video, we are going to learn about one of the most important topic or one of the most needed topic that being an agriculturist you need to know about. That is cropping intensity index. So, what is this cropping intensity index? So, cropping intensity index means the number of crops. Okay, cropping intensity. Okay, just divide cropping and intensity. That is the intensity of the particular crop on a particular land area at a particular time. So we can define cropping intensity as the number of crops grown over a period of time at a uh, particular field or in the same field, the number of crops grown in one year or in an agricultural year. Okay, that is from Kharif to summer or Kharif to Kharif, you can say that. Okay. So this cropping intensity index, so you might be having a doubt like why we need to calculate this cropping intensity and why this cropping intensity index is required okay so the cropping intensity index of india is about 125 percent or we can say it has increased to only 25 percent it has been increased since its independence so india now witnesses around 136 percent of cropping intensity that is it, it has a very uh, steady growth or it is a very you can say it is a a uh, very good growth but it's very less the growth should have been much more the farmer should have been much progressive in growing a number of crops or multiple crops in a particular or uh, utilizing the land so this cropping intensity index determines cropping intensity index determines the number of crops grown over a particular field over a particular time so what does this define this defines the relationship cropping intensity index defines the relationship between the land area utilized and the crop duration or the crops grown. Okay, the land area utilized, the crops grown, and the cropping duration. So, guys, here in this video of uh, our of my of my channel, you can see here the cropping intensity index. So now we will uh, calculate the cropping intensity index. So, what is the use of calculating this cropping intensity index? Okay, let us know. So, when you are approaching to any farmer. And if he says that I have a particular piece of land like 10 hectares or 100 hectares and I can cult, uh, cultivate uh, 10 crops or 20 crops in an agriculture year. So when the farmer asks you, you being an agriculturist, when the farmer asks you that how much land is I actually using, what is the uh, intensity in which I am using or what should I increase the my number of crops or should I decrease the number of crops. So but how can you say that to a farmer? How can you explain that to a farmer? So to explain that to a farmer, you have to calculate all his data of cropping, cropping history data. Okay, like what all crops, how much amount of land area he uh, invested or he utilized for every crop. Okay, the, number, the amount of area that he utilized for every crop in every season that you have to calculate. So in this video of mine, we have a, uh, you can see here, we have a, uh, for a uh, question, okay, you can say this is a question like where we have where we have the area, okay. So suppose uh, we are taking an example like a farmer has thirty hectares of land. A farmer has thirty hectares of land. That is, he is using this thirty hectare of land to cultivate the complete year, okay. So in an agricultural year, he uses his complete thirty hectares of land to cultivate different crops. So here we have a data of the different crops that the farmer is cultivating in his 30 hectares land, okay, in different seasons. So here are the seasons, Kharif, Rabi and summer, and here is the area in which he is cultivating his different uh, types of crops, okay. So suppose here we are seeing that he has been cultivating for the first block or the first five hectares, uh, at first he is cultivating five hectares of land. For rice, wheat, and uh, ragi, ragi in three seasons like Kharif, Ravi, and summer. Okay. So here, just uh, understand like in the Kharif season, the farmer is, is cultivating rice, which has a showing uh, duration of 120 days. In Ravi, he is cultivating wheat, which has 120 days of growth. Suppose we are taking this as an example. In summer, he is cultivating ragi for 90 days uh, for uh, 90 days crop. Okay. So, he is cultivating these three crops for 5 hectare each. Here you have to calculate 5 hectare each. So,
so each crops is uh, is cultivating for five hectares okay like for rice and and in the next uh, uh, you can say the next part the, after these uh, grows okay after this grows or um, you can say that if he is cult uh, cultivating for here we can change here to uh, the total we are calculating that we can change this to if you say that two years two agriculture years okay suppose we are saying here as the uh, example sabo we are saying that it has uh, grown to two years okay or we can say that we can also calculate this for one years okay one year two depending on the farmer's cultivation practices suppose he is cultivating rice and maize for 10 hectares that has a soil duration of 120 and 90 and suppose he is cultivating in the next part uh, 150, 120 and 90 so here you, you have to get clear here you have to get clear that the farmer has cut, has divided these plots his complete 30 hectares into 5, 10, 4, 2, 5 and 4 hectares respectively like he has a block 1 he has a block 1 that is of 5 hectares he has a block 2 that is of 10 hectares land and here is a block 3 that is of 4 hectares land and here is a block 4 similarly block 5 and block 6 so he has uh, cut, divided the 30 hectares into 6 blocks uh, which comprises these parts and where he cultivates different types of uh, crops in a particular season or in a particular agricultural year okay so suppose in the Kharif season the farmer has uh, cultivated in these like rice 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 and wheat okay and he has left one season suppose and in Ravi season he has uh, cultivated for 5 hectares wheat 10 hectares maize just understand that it's according to the season that he has not with this way okay it is to the season like in Ravi season the farmer has used his block one that is five hectares of land for wheat he has used 10 hectares of land for maize and he has used four hectares for maize again and two hectares for groundnut in different uh, seasons you can say that for these six blocks he is using for this season for six blocks he is using he has used five crops he has cultivated five crops and for similarly for summer season also and rice Kharif season also yes so when you calculate this this comes to be 30 hectares okay 30 hectares okay so as according to the question so it the question may vary you can get a different question like the farmer has 10 hectares 20 hectares 5 hectares okay so in this 30 hectares in different seasons the farmer has cultivated different types of crop so now we have to cultivate or sorry we have to calculate what is the cropping intensity okay so what is the solution okay how we have to calculate this cropping intensity index so the cropping intensity index has a particular formula that is generally you can find in books like logarithmic values uh, to the power to the base and something but here uh, in this channel in this video of mine you have uh, uh, you will be getting the easiest thing to remember easiest thing to remember where you can uh, uh, easily calculate cropping intensity index you should have no confusion you will have no confusion for any types of questions that may you may be facing in the future so here i have simplified the formula for cropping intensity index like okay here we'll be doing the solution now okay. so cropping intensity index we can write c r i okay c i i is this equal to so here what the formula i'll be using you can put those data directly to the formula and you can get the answer okay Okay, dropping intensity index is equals to land area of the crop one into okay. uh, duration duration of crop one plus similarly we can we we'll call this as land area la and we'll call it this crop duration as dc okay so land area of uh, we can call this as land area crop lsc1 okay so lsc2 into duration of crops 2 this is 1 okay plus similarly lsc into DC3 plus similarly you can calculate for the number of crops that you have okay so DC and okay DC and divided by divided by okay 
divided by total land area sorry divided by total land area into agriculture here agriculture period or cultivation period okay plus if the farmer has some extra area extra area and extra area into duration extra area into duration okay this is also our duration total duration okay okay guys so here we have the formula of cropping intensity index like the land area of the crop one into duration of the crop one plus land area of the crop two into duration of the crop two plus land area of crop three into duration of the crop three plus land area of crop four into duration of the crop four land area of crop five into duration of the crop five divided with the total area into the number of days the cultivation has been done in that year or two years or three years plus if the farmer has an extra area like you can see here the, in this question the farmer has an extra area of one hectare okay one hectare so he cultivates this one hectare only for the month of october to november or october to march that you can add the and you can add the crop also okay so now using this formula we will solve this table or we will solve, solve this question of now okay so now we can uh, solve this like see land area of crop one okay lac one so what is this land area of crop one like land area what we have used for this is the crop one okay this is the crop one like land area is five hectares okay so we have to write five into five land area of the crop one is five hectares and duration of the crop duration of the crop is rice we have taken for 120 days rice we have taken for 120 days simple plus lse of crop one lse of crop one like sorry lse of crop two like land area of crop two in video now we have taken crop two that is five hectares five into 120 again plus again we have taken ragi in the summer season for this five hectares land like so we have to do five into 90 90 is the here 90 is the duration of ragi crop 120 is the wheat 120 is the rice duration 555 five, five are the common land area for these three crops in three different seasons okay using this we have to calculate similarly we have to do this plus 10 now we have to go to the next block where uh, 10 hectares of land is there and what we have cultivated so in this similar way we have to add all this we have to add all this like 10 into 120 plus 10 into 120 plus 10 into 90 10 into 90 plus here we have nothing so we can just uh, ignore it we can just ignore it we, we need not compare when there is no crop cultivations we just need to leave that place so now we have to go to the next block like 4 into 150 4 into 150 okay. plus 4 into 120 4 into 120 plus 4 into 90 plus 2 into 120 2 into 90 plus 2 into 120 plus 2 into 90 okay plus again 5 into we have to leave this 5 into 120 and plus 5 into 90 plus 5 into 120 plus 5 into 90 plus 4 into 150 plus 4 into 200 4 into 150 plus 4 into 200 this will be divided this will be divided total total area what is the total area we have like we have 30 hectares 30 hectares into total land area is 30 hectares total complete land area is 30 hectares agriculture period or total duration for which we have cultivated these crops is for one agriculture year so one agriculture year is equal to 365 days okay plus plus if we have an extra area this is just an exception just to make you remember extra area you have to calculate like if we have extra area of one hectare like one into we have uh, we cultivate crops for 180 days okay so 180 this is just an exceptional 
just, just uh, if uh, as we have not as I have not mentioned for this 180 days what crops we are cultivating so let's just ignore this let's just ignore this part okay so now we are cultivating only for 30 hectares so this is for 30 hectares and one year okay so calculate this guys calculate this and let us know what is the cropping intensity we are getting here absorbing intensity has no value so cropping intensity index what is the cropping index suppose 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 we are getting a cropping intensity of uh, uh, 0 0.74 okay suppose we are getting suppose we are getting 0 0.74 something then uh, this we can uh, uh, we can say that the cropping in intensity by this we can say that the cropping intensity values what does it determine and how many how much the cropping intensity should be minimum what is the optimum cropping intensity what is the minimum and what is the maximum so guys this is all about the calculation so this is a task for all my viewers who are watching this video just to solve this and uh, mention in the comment section i'll be happy to reply to you so guys thank you for uh, watching complete video of this any doubts regarding any videos you can just ping me in the comment box i will reply you definitely and guys please like to my videos share and subscribe to my videos and share my channel the most so guys this is all about the cropping intensity index you will have a photo of this uh, at the in my video at the end okay. so guys thank you for watching my guys thank you for watching my video with patience keep liking sharing and subscribing to my channel thank you